What's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <coughs> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. Welcome to Gekko Khan High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at Gekko Khan. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, She's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily. And I once had a phobia of men, too. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Adagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. Kaba what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. 
Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. Alrighty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a lot... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder... 
What would the look on Yosuke's face be? Uh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Teddy? What are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir-crazy! If only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! You remembered, Chie-chan. Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm, it's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? My, it's so big. Go on, hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights or your bed will start spinning. Ways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted for so many reasons.
Whoa! So this is a club. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! There's nothing like this back home. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Uh, <clears throat> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was canceled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more. Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either. Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh, you're so cold, Kanji. <sighs> Kanji, Kanji, Kanji. I conjecture that something's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> Conjecture? <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non alcoholic. Mm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? But the smells. King's game. Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. <laughs> What's their problem? They make me act like a ditz, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready. What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop, chop! It, it's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Y Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone draw. Uh, 
Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Uh, we're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay! Smooch! Smooch! Please, God, grant me a girl. Number three! Ah! I'm at number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! Kanji! So you were after my fuzzy fur! Okay, but it's my first time. Be gentle. Hey, quit that! Don't make me flatten you, damn it! Ah! No! Hey! Help! Oh, only the first round, and two contestants have dropped out already. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! The king. Phew! Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. Ta, don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. <laughs> nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Come on, king, who's gonna do what? What? Oh, man, you don't know how much I want to trade places with you right now. <laughs> Senpai's lap is so warm. It feels so nice. <laughs> Me next! Me! I'm the king! Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick. All right, then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm, let's see. Oh, no, Tokun. I choose you. She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No, no, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay! No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu... Noha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well-versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh... That's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so 
Embarrassing. Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? I want to go home. Whew, I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. A straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then we do stuff like Persona with our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! Gee, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Good one, Naoto! No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night! Hey, senpai! How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Oh, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. <laughs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? something this place serves the best ramen in town when we were filming a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches hmm you're not hungry um <laughs> what happened last night I don't remember much about it oh I think the two of us fell asleep quick I heard it got pretty wild though I see I don't remember at all <laughs> Ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Hmm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The Haga curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? You didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. 
You little liar, give me that check. Let's see here. One, two, ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. I was going to finish mine. They were there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little... Dude, hey, he ain't moving. Is he hibernating? Hey, don't don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious, Teddy? <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me. <clears throat> hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look! My big bro got me a souvenir! Hey, nice! Did you remember to thank him? Of course! Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talk to him much? He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready?
Now, I don't quite know whether or not I absolutely needed that, but I'm going to be safe and get it anyway. So what a fun trip that was to Tatsumi Port Island. We saw Gekko Khan High School. Saw some uh, interesting faces. But back to the usual grind. So first up, we'll spend our Sunday afternoon with Rise. Oh, Senpai!
I'll see you later, Senpai. You're back. That sounds great. Why don't we make that lunch? Before we do anything, let's go back up to the roof and talk to the girl one more time. There's another fox quest down. We'll turn that in when we have another rainy day. And let's talk to Teddy, who's in the hallway now. My favorite schoolgirl uniform. Huh. I can't imagine a girl wearing a boy's uniform at Yasagami. That would never happen. Personally, I'm a fan of the spring uniform, the Blazers. <laughs> On that note, I can not wait for the change of seasons when the winter uniform makes a comeback. Anyway, let's spend time with Yukiko. I believe today is a rather important rank up for her. something too? I see. That's so like you. I'm wishing for everyone's health. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the inn too. 
And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. Let's begin our prayer. I've decided not to leave Inaba. I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. But no longer. I want to protect the family inn. After all, it's near to my heart. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Because you were always by my side. this before um why why are you always with me I is it okay for me to ask I see <sighs> yes precisely oh I just remembered I have an errand to run I'll be going now to Nightline's special Night Watch report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases, Sixteen of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Hi, Senpai. Yo! Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Tokun was on. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, 
all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is, in fact, a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naoto-kun? My goodness, has a lot happened in the last 24 hours. For one, I have friend-zoned my second girl, so sorry fans of Yukiko. I'm sure that's the case, Teddy. I was also pretty uh, quick on that trigger to tell Yukiko that she's a friend. Hey, Hanako, what are you doing? Why are you looking at Teddy? Is Teddy a younger boy? I don't really know. Not quite sure how old his body is supposed to be, considering he's not actually human. Anyway, got a big uh, social link event with Ko today. Yo!
<laughs> All right. Let's save the game. And what? September 13th? How could that be? Could it be because I fucked up and forgot to finish the Fox Quest and had to replay the last four days? No. That would never happen. Now, give me, you know, cut some slack. I mean, by mid September in Persona 3, I had to re record so much stuff. The fact that I went this long without uh, making a mistake like that is pretty impressive. Anyway, let's go to the tutoring job.
Thank you very much. Please come back again. I search for your heart, but see my truth.